our objectives, and I'm sorry for the small print here, but we have a significant number of objectives as you can see. Um, to train managers, and that's a theme, right? People who can manage, that's what we're after. We're not after, we're not trying to train people who will become more advanced financial analysts or more advanced marketing analysts. Okay? We're here to train managers. People are going to take control of some part of an organization and help it achieve its objectives. Okay? And that means being able to understand where all those specialty disciplines are coming from, what they're about, what the underlying concepts are, how people think in those disciplines, and how they all fit together and how they work together. So well-versed in the fundamental disciplines of, disciplines of management, economic, political, technological environment in which businesses operate. So that first half of the program, those required courses, the courses that you would do in the English cohort in English would be focused on this. Okay? What's the basic foundation knowledge that, operate, that businesses operate on? Now, if you're coming from a Bachelor of Commerce degree, you've probably had some exposure to this. But since we're requiring a significant, number, a significant amount of experience uh, of before, being, uh, before being admitted to the program, that was probably quite a while ago. And you probably had one required course in each one of these disciplines as part of a Bachelor of Commerce, Commerce degree. So if you're not coming from a Commerce background, you shouldn't feel disadvantaged. If you are coming from a Commerce background, you shouldn't feel advantaged. Okay? This, so everyone passes through this, this core curriculum, basic uh, fundamentals of business. Uh, ability to think, think strategically in an integrated manner about complex business problems. There are three key words in there. Strategically, integrated, complex. Because okay. quite, tr quite truthfully, the simple problems you can write a computer program to solve. We don't need managers to solve the simple problems. So we're focused on those problems that have meaning, they're strategic. Okay. You can't, can't treat them from a single perspective. You have to take an integrated perspective on them, hence the first point. Okay. What are all these different components in the organization? and they're complex. And we do that through cases, we do it through case competitions, we do it through a consulting project, we do it through something we call the HEC Challenge, which is a, like a mini consulting project. So I'll talk about those in a little bit. Understand the global environment of business and be culturally sensitive. Um, English is my mother tongue. There have been instances where I've taught in a classroom of 35 people and I'm the, in English, and I'm the only person in the room who's, for whom English is their mother tongue, even though the course is done in English. This is an extremely diverse student body here. We have a lot of group projects. Almost every course has a group project or group work component to it. This notion of cultural sensitivity is key. And it's one of our objectives to have people come out of this program who are able to operate in other business environments. Be that in Montreal, be that in the rest of North America, be that anywhere in the world. And again, I'll talk about some of the other opportunities that we have for doing that. But this notion of global business, you know, like I said earlier, we're, we are not a local or regional business school. We are an international business school. We see ourselves as being a player on the international scene and the rankings and all that attest to that. Okay, but that's a key focus for us, is this international component. Uh, leadership and action-oriented, we have a couple of options to help people develop, to help students develop their leadership skills. We're oriented less toward theory, although we will talk about theory as we go through our coursework, but more towards action. We want to use that theory to, to solve problems. We're focused on applying theory here. Okay? It's not a doctoral program. It's not an MSc program. It's another difference between an MBA and an MSc. Okay? An MSc is focused on a specialization and it's theory based. An MBA is a generalist program. It uses theory but it's action based, implementation based. Proficient in the use of analytical techniques and information technology. Part of managing is being able to deal with data, is being able to use um, information technology correctly and properly and appropriately, and it's being able to master and use various quantitative analytical, analytical techniques. Now again, 30% of our students are engineers. They usually have no problem with this. A lot of other, uh, a, a major part of the, other, the rest of the student body doesn't necessarily have a quantitative background. We understand that. We think quantitative analysis is important. We help you get there. 
Okay? But it will be a part of the program. We do want you to master certain standard business quantitative techniques, quantitative analysis techniques. Uh, multilingual, effective oral and written communications, able to work in teams. Like I said, every course has a team component, or almost every course has a team component, plus there are other project courses that are projects that you'll be involved in. So you'll be a member of somewhere between 30 and 40 teams by the time you get through this program. So we want you to be able to work in teams. Written communication is important. Every one of those team projects, projects will usually have some kind of written report in, uh, associated with it. You'll be writing a lot in the program. You'll be doing case analysis. You'll be doing uh, um, other kinds of written work. So writing skills is very important. Oral presentation skills are very important. And you need to be able to express your ideas succinctly, accurately, uh, to a wide variety of audiences. So we're very focused on that as well. Communication is a big part of what we do, or what, what a big part of our objectives, right? And then multilingual. Every student before they graduate from this program will have at least some proficiency in at least two languages. Okay? Many of you are going to come here with that proficiency already. For most of the students in the English cohort, that is English and some other language other than French, in most cases. Okay? For those of you who are unilingual, we offer on Fridays something we call French on Fridays is a French language course which you can follow throughout the, throughout the year and if you have either no uh, previous education in French or no uh, other language then you would be required to take this French on Friday course. So we want people to understand uh, what it means to speak multiple languages. Innovative, creative, confident, resilient, I'm not really sure how we deliver that. <laughs> That's one of our objectives, is to have people who are confident, who can go out and be present in the business world. You can project themselves and, you know, after 35 or 40 class presentations and presenting in front of business groups and all that, you should have no qualms about walking up in front of the stage and talking to people. So that's what we're trying, trying to get at, okay? Uh, sensitive to ethical and social dimensions of management. The last stage of the program is focused on corporate social responsibility and sustainable development. Now, some people say, why do you keep that to the end? We keep it to the end because, not because it's an afterthought, not because we're trying to cram it into the last six weeks of the program, but because we want you to have an intensive experience about, of thinking about these things and take everything you've learned so far and force it through that lens of corporate social responsibility and sustainable development in order to develop this uh, ethical and social dimension. Okay? So it's, again, a very important part of what we do in the program is to understand how business fits into into society, what business's role is, what its responsibilities are, and we want all of our students to have that and appreciation for that. <laughs>